Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Good Ross' presentation about reducing household food waste. First of all, please let me introduce my group members. They are Zhao Tianxie, Wei Chaoling, Ye Lu, Tian Rui Xiao, and Zi Xiao Ma. Our group will focus on reducing the household food waste. The presentation will compose of five parts. We will first introduce the general situation of food waste in the world now. According to the data, we can learn that in 2019, an estimated 931 million tons of the video was sent to the trash worldwide, uh, accounting for the 17% of the total food available to consumers. This wasted food could fill the 23 million tracks with a um, capacity of the 14 tons, which could circle the global seven times with their hands and trunks connected. The three main sources of food waste are households, uh, food service and food sales, with the households being the most important source of the food waste. About 61% of the food waste occurs in the daily household data, amounting to 11% of total amount of the food available to consumer worldwide. In China, the situation is even worse. In the survey, Professor Liu pointed out that the uh, Household food waste is estimated to account for 74.63% of city solid waste in eight major cities in China. Food waste is one of the largest sources of the environmental pollution. Uh, it is already having a huge impact on the environment and posing a huge health risk to society. Um, poor management of food waste and lack of the treatment technology pollute the environment it is also affect food bodies, physical, chemical, and biological process. Uh, uncollected waste is scattered everywhere and enter the water by soils run off and also uh, infiltrates into the groundwater. The toxic substance content in the waste polluted the water. It also impairs shape the soil and reduce agricultural productivity. Uh, next, my partner Tian Rui will explain the stage one and two part of the in graduation model. Thank you, Joy. Before we proceed, I'd like to introduce the theoretical support that is going to throughout our today's presentation, the integrative thinking process. Roger Martin says it is the ability to face the constructively the tension of opposing ideas and instead of choosing one at the expense of other generate a creative resolution of the tension in the form of a new idea that contains the elements of the opposing ideas but superior to each. It contains four stages as you can see. We shall use them well in order to generate optimal solutions for our wicked problems, kitchen waste. And now let's move on to stage one. At stage one, we identify two extreme and opposing answers to the problem, turning an issue into a two-sided dilemma. In our case, the government has already launched a series of measures to reduce kitchen waste, including landfills, incineration, recovery and recycling, composting, and waste to energy. Despite all the hard work that is done by the government, China remains the world's largest food waste country. It is important that we put all hands on deck and start doing this. However, it is not enough to solely rely on civilians to realize it by themselves. That would be too late by then. Therefore, we reckon the government and the authorities should be imposing and supervising for reducing kitchen waste and how to do this properly and efficiently could be our top priority. From that, the two opposite models we articulated are as follows. The first one is flexible persuasion. It means to raise awareness through public service and advertisement, lecture on how the kitchen waste can seriously damage the environment and how we citizens could do to reduce it. The second one is coercive measure. It refers to publishing rules, regulations, or laws to carry this out, or implement punishment and detention to those who don't sort kitchen garbage or dump them everywhere. Moving on to stage 2, examine the models, which is to look at the models together, explicitly holding them in tension. By putting them together, we found some advantages about model 1. The first one is that the government would gain high public recognition if they lecture the citizens to be aware of this issue instead of pushing them to do so. Another advantage is that through this, the national quality and public awareness could be raised. However, it does have some bad effects though. This will be a long-term oriented project. It might not be effective in short term since the level of education and national quality aren't built in a day. And we must get our hands on reducing kitchen waste as soon as possible. 
Also, it may cost you a huge amount of, of money generating good advertisement and popularize it. Talking about Model 2, it has the advantage of efficient and effective. It might permanently reduce kitchen waste in a very short period, because most of the people would choose to obey the law. Also, with supervision from the government can make sure things are orderly conducted and sorted in a scientific way, because the government can see the big picture and knows what's more important at the current stage. And the negative effect could be coercive measure will cause antipathy towards reducing kitchen waste. When people are actually punished by or bothered by the punishment, the motivation of reducing kitchen waste or respond to the call will be damaged, even though they know it's the right thing to do or a good thing to do. It's also very difficult to design the severity of the punishment. A punishment too light couldn't draw their attention, and the punishment punishment too heavy could dissatisfy the citizens. Yes, as the Kenny said, there are pros and cons to both model. We need to explore possibilities using the three pathways of the third stage of integrative thinking. First, the first is hidden gene. We need to create a new model of the problem by combining valuable element of opposing model and ensuring that the elements do not directly conflict. The second pathway is the double down. In this path, causality is key. Therefore, use causal model to generate answers. The result is to extend model A to include the part of model B that you care most about. Yep, third way, decomposition. Both models can be used and both can be implemented. This approach attempts to decompose the problem space in a new way that allow you to apply opposing model separately to different parts of the problem without reducing their impact or harming them. And I think the third pathway meets our needs. We hope that these two models can be combined or implemented cur currently. To use this path, we need to set a core assumption. The government introduced a new policies. Yep. What is the government's policies? What should we pay attention to? And what do consumers comply with these policies? We need to introduce this problem to create new model. The government's new policies is to use public service advertisement to recall attention to garbage recycling and sorting and to build environmental awareness as a main, develop punishment system as auxiliary. Yeah. So, Kasnik, can you tell us more about it? Thank you, Zitan. And now I'm going to talk about stage four. The first step is concretely define each possibility, more comprehensively articulating how it might work. The government can design propaganda videos in social media or newspapers to appeal to people about the benefits of reducing household waste and also urging them to separate the waste. Additionally, setting penalties for littering. If the number of times the amount not orderly garbage sorting more than three times will be fined $40. For consumers, they can watch the online videos, newspapers, and so on to observe knowledge and the risk production awareness of reducing household waste. The second step is to understand the logic of the possibilities, asking under what conditions each possibility will be a winning integrative solution. We conducted a survey in 200 communities from four different cities in China. After we collected the data, we found that about 80.65% of residents could accept such a scheme. They could understand the purpose and benefits of the propaganda videos and also accept a fine of $40, which means our program has a high feasibility. Besides, the government also attaches a great importance to this program. They will further design attractive promotion advertising for this. The final way is design and conducting tests of each possibility, generating needed data over time. 
about the test for the government solution, we give an example. There is an effective way of classification and recycling of kitchen waste in Korea, which uses a radio frequency identification card. The charging process of kitchen waste includes contacting the card to the recycling container before discarding the food waste, and then it will record the weight of waste. After that, the relevant departments will send the accounting sheet to the residents every month. The effect of the policy implementation will be mentioned in the solution section by Wei Chao. In terms of test for the consumer solution, from the final data of questionnaire and propaganda conducted by us, we conclude that the majority of the residents are more likely to accept the measurement of reducing kitchen waste with a fine. To summarize, our program is a most human one, with propaganda as the main and the punishment as the auxiliary, so everyone can accept it. Thanks, Ye. Let's begin the fourth part, the solution. So, according to our research, we reckon it is best to mainly apply flexible education plus a little bit of regulation and punishment on those who don't sort garbage properly. So, why is this a good solution? The lack of awareness of the majority of publicity about waste separation and the recycling effect the employment of it, as well as the lack of active maintenance of environmental hygiene, which handles the positive development of city sanitation management system. Therefore, there is need to promote citizen awareness, especially for common waste recycling food, so that citizens are aware of the benefit of it and how to spray waste and to solve the problem at source. Meanwhile, the legal norms have their own shortcomings, as well as the imperfection of relevant supporting legal system, making it lacking of adequate legal basis, therefore, it is necessary to improve the relevant legal system in order to effectively guide to practice of it. However, there may be some problems during the employment. There were three important points during the solution be adapted. The first one is low participation of residents. Publicity and education is an important source of accurate knowledge and methods. However, in China, the government and school-based approach to publicity is less efficient. In school, for example, environmental protection is not called as a compulsory subject in most schools in China, and students are only given environmental protection handbook. However, there are only knowledge content by lack of dedicated educational presentation mechanism, which lead to an efficient publicity of education on household waste separation. We believe that there are three ways to improve this situation. The first one is the diversification of subject of publicity. By expanding the scope of the publicity, such as including environmental volunteers, make the knowledge more accessible to the resident. And the second is the rich content. Both positive and negative aspect of the publicity so that the resident can clearly understand the correct measure and improve the correct awareness. The third one is the diversification of public vehicles. So for example, print some full package on information on how to spread waste and what to do when putting it on. The second important point is the weak awareness. In a significant number of Chinese cities, the residents have a weak awareness of waste separation, leading to a cultural littering. This is mainly due to the lack of basic knowledge. For their own reasons, the waste separation does not bring them direct economic benefit, and they often do not have time to make scientific distinction between different types of waste. From the external perspective, the government, society, and schools are not effectively publicity knowledge about waste. This makes it difficult for residents to develop awareness of household waste separation, as well as they have limited access to knowledge about it. In this case, the government should set up special food waste collection times and locations, and employment mandatory measures to promote information of public awareness of rubbish separation. The last important point is the legislative system lack relevance. The legislation on waste separation and recycling in China lack of specificity. For example, in circular economic promotion law only focuses on responsibility of the government and enterprise. However, it ignores the regulating household as an important source of food waste. Therefore, the government should focus on specificity in the legalization and specify more operational employment plan. For example, specific methods for recycling special waste, such as corrosive food waste. After proposing our solution, we also should test the solution where it can be operationalized. In this part, we use South Korea as an example of successful experience in the area to verify the feasibility of our solution. Through publicity and government regulation, Korea has made achievement in household waste food waste separation disposal. 
In 2010, Korea introduced a system which charged for food waste that had been discarded. This part had been introduced in the stage 4. Penalties are high, with resident facing fans up to 1 million won if they do not put out the required amount of food rubbish by the bag. Out of the government regulation, the amount of food waste generated in 2012 was 54% lower than the 2010. The management of food waste in Korea is also dependent on voluntary activities by citizens to reduce the food waste. For example, community residents mobile virus waste to dispose the household food waste. As table shows, the recycling of food waste in Korea reached 95% in 2014. The successful of Korea has proved that the solution can be operationalized. The last part is the conclusion. The government of China adapted any food waste law on April 29, 2021. Since then, there are clear legal provisions governing the reduction of food waste at the source, which means the government has already provided a legislative base for regulation of food waste. Diversified media publicity also makes it more effective to raise citizens' awareness of food waste operation. Therefore, we believe that publicity and education, coupon with mandatory government supervision, can effectively improve the household waste. Thank you for watching this. This is the end of our presentation, and we do hope that this would affect more people and help them to awake the awareness on reducing kitchen waste. Because only together could we protect our Earth, and each one of us is responsible for that. Bye for now.